it looks pretty retro. But in Cuban terms, this is groundbreaking. Fidel Castro banned commercials as brainwashing. He banned property sales too. And yet this is state television, now advertising private houses for sale. Incontable. The director tells me they get countless letters from people who want their property details read out on air. The freedom to sell is a big change here. And all over Cuba, people are seizing the opportunity. Eduardo showed me round his two-bedroom flat in a distant Havana suburb. He's selling up, everything included, to emigrate and join his wife in America. In the old days, the state would have claimed it all. You had to leave them everything, car, house, the lot. Now we're allowed to sell it, and that means I'll have money to take to America. The TV advert slots are limited, and so is access to the Internet. So house sellers like Eduardo have to improvise. This is Havana's equivalent of an estate agent. It's where Cubans who want to move house come to put up posters advertising their property or to look for a new one. But in Cuba, moving house has always meant swapping house. And officially, at least, no money has ever changed hands. But all of that is now changing. It's been shifting from swaps to sales. House exchanges are slow and restrictive, and that's meant lots of illicit deals done for cash. Now, though, you can buy and sell out in the open. Rufino tells me he's looking to downsize, something that was banned under the swap system. He says many are doing the same, raising funds they badly need. The property market in Cuba is certainly attractive. It's not open to foreign buyers, though, and even locals can only own one home to stop speculation. Most places need a lot of work, just like the cars here. The issue for people like Andres is the price. He sold his house, but he can't find a new place he can afford. It's partly the fee charged by middlemen, partly that a lot of the cash is coming from Cubans' richer relatives abroad. It's complicated. You say you have 3,000 to spend and there's nothing. It's five or seven or 10,000. But where will I find that? The prices are super inflated. It's difficult for an ordinary Cuban to have that money. So the new property market has its problems, but it is at least legal now, giving Cubans a bit more freedom to make choices and decisions for their families. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.